So the Bundesliga starts again this weekend. It was the first of the European leagues to conclude, and now we're back. Um, of our African interests, you know, Ashraf Hakimi is off to Italy. And, you know, who do you think Ed will be, will present, you know, be the African star of the Bundesliga going forward this season? Okay, I'm going to pick out two names for fans to watch over the upcoming campaign. First of all, I'm going to go for Moussa Diaby of Bayer Leverkusen. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that five goals, five assists last season isn't a particularly terrific return. But Leverkusen have lost Volland. They've lost Kai Havertz. They need someone to step up. And I believe that Diaby could be that man. He is a Ligue 1 champion with uh, Paris Saint-Germain. He, is, he won the Titi d'Or during his time in the French capital. He's been linked to Arsenal. And I think at 21, he is about to show this season truly what he's capable of. The second player I'm going to go for, he's probably a familiar name uh, to fans of African football, is Amin Harit, the Moroccan maestro. We have been waiting for him to really show what he can do over the last few years. He broke out a little bit at the 2018 World Cup where he started Morocco's first game. The season after that was a little bit of a a write-off for him due to personal problems. But last season, he had a hand in 10 goals in 25 matches. Uh, and I think with, with Weston McKenney leaving Schalke, I think that uh, Harrit could be set to have his best season yet. The only concern for me there, a word of caution, is that Schalke are on a 17-game winless run. So there is some concern about whether they as a club are going in the right direction. But if they are to turn things around, I think Harrit will be absolutely key. And for you, Colin, from a Nigerian perspective, who are the fans that players should be keeping an eye out for? You know, I was actually going to ask you that question because, you know, I, I am particularly, you know, interested in the Nigerian interests. But, you know, apart from the guys who are, you know, regular starters in their teams like Jordan Tornariga and Felix Udakai, I would really love to see um, Ademola Lukman, you know, step into his own. Uh, he did well while he was on, on, on loan from Everton. He got signed on a permanent deal. And then he just sort of, you know, fell off the radar and didn't quite um, step up to the, to the plate like we thought he would be. So um, what I would like to see is Lukman actually step up and play the way we expect him to play because he's more or less, based on what I um, understand, at least here from, the, from here, he's more or less committed himself to Nigeria. So we want to see him, you know, bring that, uh, the same kind of form he showed in his first season in Germany. I want to see that back, and that's what I'll be looking out for. Jordan Torunariga and, of course, Feli Kudorakai, both defenders. Uh, they, they are players that we would need to look out for in terms of, you know, strengthening the, the Super Eagles. They have not committed yet, but we hope they do soon and, and soon enough. There are two things that really frustrate me about this uh, Lukman situation. I'm glad you bring him up. Because there are two things that, when I think about Lukman at Leipzig, I just find myself scratching my head as to why it's not working out. The first thing is that it's not like he's arriving, he's arrived at a new league, a new culture. He hasn't proven himself that, that there yet. He doesn't know the ropes. Um, the kind of excuses you might throw out at a player who struggles to make his mark. Because as you say, he's been at Leipzig before. He was there on loan, six months, had a hand in 10 goals, made a big impact at Leipzig under Nagelsmann. So that excuse that many new signings would have, it, it just isn't there. The second thing is that Leipzig is such a a fantastic environment for players of that profile, for players of that calibre to really make the step up. You look at Upamecano, uh, now made his debut for France. Guys like Christopher Nkunku, I think, got 13 assists uh, last season for Leipzig. Also, Nordi Mukiele played a key role as they reached the the final stages of the Champions League. This is a perfect environment, surely, for Nagelsmann to get the best out of Lukman and for Lukman to get the best out of life, life in in Leipzig. Why has it not gone right for him so far, do you think? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. You know, it's, 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 um, it's one of those things, this conundrum that you just leave you scratching your head. And, you know, I do think that this, like, like a lot of players, this season might be a very defining season for him. You, you've listed all of these things that, I mean, there are no excuses really for him not to perform. It's not the injuries, it's not a new environment, it's nothing strange to him. In the league is not strange to him. And, you know, if he doesn't cut it this season, then it's going to be tough, you know, for, to justify keeping him there. And the next question is, where does he go from there? Finally, I want to tell listeners to keep an eye out for Yusufa Makuku of Borussia Dortmund. He has been nicknamed the new Etu. He has been breaking records aplenty 
in Dortmund's youth team. He was promoted to the senior setup at 15. I don't know when or if we'll see him this season. I'm not sure if at this age he's actually allowed to play, but he is someone to get very, very excited about. And of course, there's also Joshua Zegzi. Let's not forget, he hasn't committed either way, but we do hope that he eventually decides to commit to Nigeria. <laughs> Champions League winner, Joshua Zegzi, of course. Exactly. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.